<laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Parrot Planet Tours. Today we are in the Aventuria complex. And here with me are two great guys who are managers and distribution manager of the Bags of Nature. Uh, my name is uh, Stefan and uh, I'm responsible for the wholesale uh, which are with our brand Bags of Nature. Hi Stefan, and you are Jesse? Yes, my name is Jesse. Uh, I'm uh, responsible for uh, the imports uh, from our uh, yeah, ingredients and products from uh, outside of Europe. Thank you. Okay, so I have a first question for you. When this company started? In which year? Uh, our store began in 1976. Six. Yeah. So uh, a while back, mm -hmm. and it was founded by uh, the family Hybers, in particular yes. Jan Hybers. Um, and uh, yeah, I always thought to. Uh, to get people to his store to uh, to uh, make them enthusiastic and uh, uh, overwhelmed, and uh, that yeah, that was his mission, and mm -hmm. that grow to to this what we we now have. And uh, a few years back, I think around 2011, we started our own brand, mm -hmm. uh, which now is Back to Nature and uh, specializes in uh, parrots and. Uh, Reptile supplies, mm -hmm. uh, also rodents. Okay. Uh, with all uh, natural ingredients and. Uh, okay, so what are the main characteristics of your products? Uh, I think uh, we we always looking for products uh, which uh, it, the name says it, uh, back to nature. We we want to go back to nature. Mm -hmm. How uh, the, the your pet is uh, in in the nature. He can you, with with these products you can. Uh, used to create the nature again. Yes. So this is uh, really uh, our mission with Back to Nature. To stimulate the natural habitat of uh, yeah, the, the birds in particular, and uh, yeah, use only natural uh, materials as, 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 uh, as long as possible, and to yeah, to bring back, uh, back to yeah, Back to Nature back to your home. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, we see our mission here, and maybe you can tr translate to to us uh, what is uh, your mission. Well, the mission. This is our mission for our store because yeah, our store is now uh, eight thousand square meters, and we try to. Uh, inspire uh, nature and animal lovers in a unique environment where uh, young and old people feel themselves at home. Great, that's fantastic. Okay, so tell me uh, something about your products, like maybe jellies. Uh, no, uh, it's funny you said say because <clears throat> uh, we started in 2010, we started with uh, fruit cups. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we just uh, investigate if, if birds also love love these uh, these little snacks. And with our veterinarian, we did a lot of research with the ingredients if they are okay and uh, uh, what uh, what the effects are if, mm -hmm. if birds eat them. So after uh, investigation of uh, around a year, we we, we uh, accomplished that it was safe. And then um, we started to sell them in in our store mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, yeah, this, this was going really well, and uh, the two owners they thought of uh, sawing uh, Java wood into mm -hmm. a, a holder for the jelly. Mm -hmm. So then we have these two items, uh, fruit cup jellies with with the Java wood holder. Yes. And uh, we sell them like crazy in our store until uh, one big distributor came to uh, to us and said. Um, Okay, we want this little concept of yours, uh -huh. uh, but not like this. We want professionalized and with a brand name. So then we, we uh, get started and uh, produced uh, this line, uh, like you can see them now, uh, six in the back and, uh, mm -hmm. and, the, and the holder. And we produce these uh, in, uh, in high quantities to, to sell them to other stores. And this is how, a little bit how our own brand uh, started out. Mm -hmm. um, which which what it, what it is now, so it uh, it started with these two items, 
Really? So you started with jellies. You started with the jellies, yeah. <laughs> and now you've got this beautiful complex and it's really wow. Yeah, it was really going and we, in the Netherlands we sell a lot of jellies. I think around 3 million a year wow. we sell uh, in the Netherlands only and around 4.5 million a year in whole of Europe. So wow. there's lots to do for the A lot of snacks. Yeah, <laughs> lots to do for the birds in the, in the, in the whole of Europe because uh, yeah, they, really, they really like uh, these, uh, these type of jellies, which... Yeah, mine too. My, yeah. my flock loves it too. And uh, you said something about the, the Java trees and uh, Java trees are so perfect for parrots. Maybe you can tell something about those Java trees. <laughs> now the Java trees, we uh, import them from Indonesia and uh, they really are uh, from the coffee, uh, coffee trees. Mm -hmm. uh, so when uh, a coffee tree doesn't produce uh, uh, the, the beans anymore, mm -hmm. they just become waste. And uh, these, these trees, we, we buy them from Indonesia, uh, so they get rid of the waste mm -hmm. and uh, the, the birds in, yes. in the Netherlands or in Europe, they really enjoy these uh, trees because they're really hard, mm -hmm. so they, they, they don't wreck it in a day. Yeah, the, <laughs> the destruction t takes time. Yeah, the destruction <laughs> takes time, so uh, the, the consumers and the parrots love these, these type of things from coffee wood because mm -hmm. uh, it's very uh, okay. lasting. Okay, so, yeah. so we started with the fruit cups, then we started with importing Yahoo wood products, etc. And then we started also to create toys with that. Yes. That's when yeah, the Vection Energy brand uh, came and we, yeah, we started to develop all kinds of na natural products for, for, for parrots and uh, with only the natural uh, yeah, ingredients. So we do not use uh, plastic uh, in our toys and, uh, we, and we do not use cotton or things like that. Only uh, safe types of rope, mm -hmm. uh, like... Uh, sea salt. Uh, uh, sea salt is, uh, is a lot safer than uh, cotton and uh, seagrass. And, uh, uh, Seagrass mats are just amazing. Yeah, yeah. so the, 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 these kind of products uh, we use. And so we, we started to work on, uh, it, it once started as, as a snack, but then we started to work on the entire uh, brand and we want to bring nature back uh, to home. So yeah, we started with the toys, but then we started also to work on um, uh, what you put inside the cage. So, uh, purchase, toys, toys, purchase. Uh, yes, and uh, for the natural habitat also, uh, we have the discovery bedding, uh, mm -hmm. the, the, the natural floor bedding for the, for the parrots. And then you can also uh, use leaves and uh, uh, yeah. pine cones and everything again, to create a natural habitat for your birds. So uh, everything should, should be like nature, so... You even thought about the UFO lights. Yes, yes, so and, uh, and we tried to do each layer, so mm -hmm. we started uh, at the bottom, the toys, and then also the lighting. Mm -hmm. So because uh, in, in, uh, in nature, yeah, you have, to, you have the sun always uh, shining or when there's no clouds, but uh, you have the UV lighting. We cannot see UV light as yes. human, but um, parrots and other birds, they can see the UV light. So they can see uh, four colors. We as uh, humans see only three basic colors, green, mm -hmm. uh, red and blue, uh, but birds also see UV, UV light. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you put them in a cage at home, there is no direct sunlight in the home. They don't ha they, see they, the they full spectrum. See, they don't see the full spectrum. They don't see the full color. They see, they see a, lo a lot less than they would see in nature. So uh, we also developed and this really took a long time. We started in 2013, mm -hmm. and I think it was 2021. Yeah, I think we, it took us eight years to develop the product. Eight years? Eight years. Yeah. Wow. It was tested with veterinarians. Yeah. Yeah. Eight years testing? Wow, yes. that's a lot. Yeah, we started wow. in 2013. Uh, yeah, and finally in 2021, it was uh, finished, and we had the product to, to use for inside for the birds that you have the natural light inside your home, the natural sunlight is not only the UVA, the UVA light for the spectrum, but also um, um, with the high uh, frequency. So um, if you have a, a TL light, I don't know, is it TL in English? Uh, the, the, yeah. The, the, uh -huh. yeah, the TL light that um, goes by uh, 50 hertz, so that's uh, flickers a lot. It's mm -hmm. like a disco ball for birds. Okay. And if you have uh, a, a good quality light with high frequency, 
then it's a steady lamp because mm -hmm. birds do not only see more colors, but they only see only uh, they also see faster. Yes. So uh, the normal human lights are not good for birds. It's like a disco ball. So it's not only the UV light, but also a high frequency, and also it gives uh, comfort, warmth, comfort yeah, vision. Yeah, but also uh, UVB lighting for uh, to uh, produce. Vitamin uh, D. Yeah, vitamin D3 for the calcium. Mm -hmm. um, and also it, it gives heat because uh, to produce vitamin D3, they uh, need UVB lighting, but also heat. And then they, uh, I don't know if you know how, it's a bit complicated system, but the, yeah. uh, it, it, it's, uh, they produce that from the... Yes, yes, Europa gland. Yes, yes, no, and, yeah, onto the feathers. There is uh, produced to vitamin T3 yes. and by uh, cleaning their feathers. Yes, they and they eat this vitamin D. Yeah. So this, the, those uh, lighting is, is for several parts. It's not only for the vision, but it's also for the health and uh, uh, to, to for the comfort. Comfort for the birds. Yes. Yeah, so with uh, we try to do the entire uh, situation for the birds to optimize, optimize it in the natural habitat. Thank you so much. And you guys, you're gonna see this perfect place and we are going to make some tour here and we will see five worlds, reptiles, rodents, birds, cats and dogs. So stay with us and we will see the next episode. Mm -hmm.